and welcome to Members on the Mic with the Troy Chamber of Commerce, where we connect with Troy Chamber members as they give us a glimpse into their company and share some of the life lessons they've learned along the way. Hi, everyone. I'm Tara Thompson-Cusack, President and CEO of the Troy Chamber of Commerce, and I'm joined today by the amazing co-host and Vice President of the Chamber, Sheila Denstead. Hello, all. <laughs> first, I'd like to take a moment to thank our presenting sponsor, Tryon Solutions. Stay tuned for our very first commercial break, where you can learn how you can rely on Tryon. Sheila, we've got a great show ahead of us today. So who are we meeting with? Well, I am very excited to introduce to you Daniel Chuda. He's Vice President of Business Development with ACPS Automotive Group in Troy. Daniel, why don't you take a minute here and give us a little bit more about your background and a little bit on ACPS. Yes, good uh, morning, everyone, and thank you for the invitation. I'm very happy to be here. So exciting. Um, so as you said, my name is Daniel. Uh, you notice the accent. I am <laughs> originally from Hungary, Europe, um, and been with this company, with ACPS, for about 10 years now, close to be 10 years. Um, moved internationally um, a lot, so worked for this company in four different countries, starting in Hungary, went on to Mexico, then Germany, and uh, finally now here in the U.S. in different positions. Um, so... ACPS, uh, we are an automotive tier one supplier directly to all the OE manufacturers. We are supplying a lot of trailering products, uh, trailer hitches direct to factories and to dealerships. Nice. Well, I'm Hungarian, so I'm really excited. So my family is from Budapest. Oh, uh, really? So, yeah. I was, so... City I was born and raised. Yeah, they. Sp no. I'm st I don't know the language though, but my family still does it. And I'm like, <laughs> I really want to go visit. So I may have to call you, you before I do. So that oh, yeah, that you 100% you, should and not be offended if you don't. <laughs> I will absolutely make sure I do. Well, Daniel, obviously we have seen your company has had substantial growth, um, especially since 2014. We're seeing a lot of that. Can you tell me what are some of the key factors for successfully growing an international business? Because you are an international business in the U.S. What are some of those key factors? That is correct. So international and since 2014, because 2014 marks the year when we started expanding our business mm -hmm. um, into the into the North America market, into the U.S., um, we grew the business to be number one in market lead in Europe um, by that time. But then we saw in the U.S. a huge market opportunity, um, and what we do is through innovation so that and that's going to be probably the key theme and the key word for the, for the entire <laughs> discussion as we go through all the questions um this is our belief and and, and I, sh I obviously share that um with with our management that in today's business automotive probably especially but in any business um currently if you want to have the edge you need to invest in innovation, yeah. new products, um, thinking next level, thinking ahead of the game, the, the pure product of, of, the, of, the, of tomorrow. Um, it's not enough anymore that it used to be uh, that, that you, can, you can have the edge and compete just by cutting costs and be cheap mm -hmm. and, uh, and do quality. Those two, um, those two items are just standard by now. You cannot have the edge just by providing quality or cost or cheap uh, products. You have to bring something in the game that uh, that makes you stand out of the crowd, and that's innovation. Well, and some people can beat you, and that's the thing. So if you're, well, yes, you want to save money, you want to make sure your company is being lean in what they're doing, you're correct. If you're not innovating, someone is going to beat you to it. And innovation, and, and it's a very good that you, you pointed out, so it's not only in products, but also in processes, manufacturing, mm -hmm. uh, logistics. These days is a huge topic um, with, uh, with all the post-COVID um, mm -hmm. logistics costs and energy costs um, everywhere in your process flow and then in your product offering, you can offer to your, uh, to your customers, or supplier partners, or just to your team, innovation and continuous improvement. Um, that's where uh, that's where you will find a good spot in business. I yeah. Think. 
Well, you mentioned uh, moving around different countries and then coming, obviously, here to the U.S. Um, we all know Troy's centrally located within the big three in that area, which is as we assume is why you set your footing here in that community. Um, the automotive industry has had some ups and downs. Um, what do you see were your keys to success for maneuvering those? In in. In crisis, and when it comes to crisis, <laughs> probably automotive is one of the most exposed, except for what COVID, when COVID happens, obviously the restaurant industry Damn. was probably a little more hit than uh, than us. But in any other crisis, automotive is uh, is pretty much first in line to uh, to take and get the hit. Uh, what um what what I believe the best thing to say is no one has the uh, the magic globe to see mm-hmm. the future. But strategic planning, and I think we'll talk about that later, um, high-level strategic planning, um, monitoring the market, not only your local markets, but internationally, what is happening in politics or in your given uh, industry, and plan your resources accordingly um, built in all your due diligences and and plan your what if scenarios yeah. um, that helps you survive and live through um, and and to that to the, to the first that you said you believe that we moved in Troy because of central location that is hundred percent correct but not only um, the Detroit metro is just a central hub. And I think it continues to be in the auto mm-hmm. industry. Uh, we see manufacturing in other states too, but when it comes to the the intellectual properties mm-hmm. and then the work and then the development that's going on, I think the vast majority of it is still happening in Detroit. Uh, I personally um, believe and think that this will stay like that on the mm-hmm. long run. Uh, we saw and, and, and we do currently see uh, all these uh, tech companies that rise like mushrooms over in uh, Cali. <laughs> but, but what we also see is if any of those, except for probably Tesla for now, but when they are really serious about getting into the auto industry, they at least have branches, development centers sooner or later open in the, in the Detroit metro area. Um, so obviously, we it was it was a no-brainer for ACPS where to open the the location in 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 the U.S. But more specifically in Troy, we talk about uh, talent and talent and, and retention later. Um, I think Troy is just even within the Detroit metro is just so well centrally located and with great transportation um, options and, and and great road network. Um, no wonder why I also bought my house in Troy. So. Mm-hmm. Well, and you, you bring Lovely up the here. effect for the automotive industry. Even when I travel out of country or anywhere else, we, we say Detroit and we say Michigan, we hear back the Motor City. And it truly is that. So, and I agree. I While we are seeing these wonderful new industries come into the area and come into the market, that's great. We, we welcome them. We're excited about that. We still have our roots in automotive, and that I don't think will ever change. And I think the footprint and making sure you're planting directly in that metro Detroit region and Troy, like you said, is it's very specific. It's it's great location. It's great schools. It's great all the above. So it's a it's a good place to be. I agree, and everything is equal distance from us. Yeah, also, yeah. living, <laughs> living is. in Detroit is, is is great. You know, my, I have buddies in Milford, and Milford is a beautiful place. But mm-hmm. whenever I say, okay, I'm just driving over to Saint Clair to do whatever," you know, they're like, oh, "I have to plan for that because that's a two hour drive." Well, not for me. You know. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, rub it in. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is a great time to take a quick little break and hear from our presenting sponsor, Tryon Solutions. Stay tuned, guys. We'll see you in just a bit. You dreamed of starting a company, not an HR department, but your business has grown fast. And so have the complexities of payroll and taxes, benefits administration, and other HR functions. That's why your business needs a professional employer organization like Tryon Solutions. Tryon provides businesses of all sizes access to top-tier healthcare and employee benefit plans. With Tryon, you don't have to grow it alone. Visit RelyOnTryon.com. You can always rely on Tryon. 
Welcome back to Members on the Mic with the Troy Chamber of Commerce. We are here with Daniel with ACPS Automotive. Daniel, so we're always, and I mean, we are going to talk about talent. It's always that one question we always have to do, but talent is hard. We, we're we aware of that. How are you guys attracting talent, not just locally, but internationally? What What's your focus around this? This is. <laughs> <laughs> I love the deep breath before. Yeah, this, this this is this is the question I think no one in this industry is looking forward to being asked mm-hmm. um, these days. Extremely difficult uh, in all levels, mm-hmm. in all levels, I, I must say, and in all countries, uh, at least where ACPS operates. Um, how and how, how we deal with that, again, we got corporate um, HR strategies. Yeah, of course. Uh, and, but, but there is always a local local content to these strategies because you just cannot unify and uh, unify everything. Uh, there is always country specifics. Um, and what I have to say is besides at those cliches provide competitive wages, competitive benefit packages, um, Foosball tables. Yeah. No, no, maybe not. No, no. It's a, not a bad point, no. Um, <laughs> well, what, what I would say is, and this is, again, coming back to why we are in Troy, um, picking our location and in our new building that we just moved into on, on Big Beaver 16, um, to, to be easily accessible. Yeah. After COVID, remote work is still a thing, but more companies are coming back, at least for a hybrid. Um, and what I see, at least from my discussions with, it, through interviews and hiring people, is the feedback is very positive for us to be located in an area that's easily accessible, because mm-hmm. right off 75, major highways, big crossings, wherever... Um, anyone lives in the Detroit Metro, it's fairly easy. And within a 30, 40 minute drive from anywhere you can be, um, at our building, that's number one. I think it does give some edge over other areas where there's industry. Um, let's face it. We have parking. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Free parking. That's a win. Free. Yeah. And (laughs) activities. And that's the other thing that I wanted to highlight. So when we were looking for the new space we specifically wanted something that has things to do around it people can go to the gym can go to groceries yeah. before or after work or during there's restaurants around there is just things to do um and many other not i, I don't want to say that but <laughs> some other areas of the Detroit metro that's more heavily industrialized yeah they just cannot offer it yeah. and i think that's one that's one of one of our strategies um, to to get again just a little bit of an edge over uh, it's a perk. other companies. Um, aside from competitive benefits, <laughs> all aside that. from being a great company, yeah. the other yes. the yes. other uh, nuggets that you have to share. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, I will benchmark this office here. We are uh, a startup nation. Yeah, yes, here if I'm allowed to say. Yeah. Um, it's an, it's an amazing office space here. So right now, as we are also working on creating our office interiors, I will definitely... Uh, Give a tour of Startup <laughs> yeah, Nation. We absolutely. will make sure of that. It's gorgeous here. It so, is. Yeah, yeah it good is, call. It is. <laughs> hey, Tara. Oh, yes. Did you know? Oh, is it time for Did You Know? It is. Woo-hoo! So what are we going to learn about today, Sheila? Well, we are going to learn about the Troy Chamber Magazine. We call it Troy Cham- or Experience Troy, which is our membership guide and community profile. It's a yearly publication that features many of our members, a membership directory, and even buyer's guide to support your local chamber members. This magazine is distributed to all of our Troy Chamber member businesses and throughout the community. If you're looking for a larger audience, there's also advertising opportunities for your business, but space is limited, so you want to get in soon. For more information you can, to see how you can advertise and experience Troy, just reach out to me at Sheila at TroyChamber.com. 
That's S H E I L A <laughs> at TroyChamber.com. Wow. I, I, now I learned something. No, now I know, and you do too. And speaking of our experience, Troy Magazine, we did a really amazing article in our last publication, hmm. and it was called International Appeal. I oh, wonder what company could have been featured in that. <laughs> So, um, obviously, we did feature Daniel on ACPS Automotive as one of the companies, and it was a really interesting article. So, guys, if you haven't picked up your Experience Troy magazine, and if you don't have one, make sure you do reach out to Sheila. She spelled it out for you. Um, And we can get that in your hands. But it's a really good article, and you guys did a wonderful job. So, thank you so much for being a part of our publication. Well, thank you. I will certainly reach out to Sheila to get my copy. (laughs) (laughs) We'll frame it. Your name's in it quite a few times, so it should be good. Um, So, other than that, Sheila, what else, what else can we learn about today? Well, I think that was pretty much it for awesome. that particular well, segment of Nailed Did You it. Know? <laughs> <laughs> So you did mention attracting talent, um, but what are some of the things that you do to retain and keep your talent? I, I know that's a, well, again, the hunt may be harder to find them, but how do you keep them? <laughs> okay. I, I think... I personally think that ACPS, we have been doing a good job keeping our our team together um, in in the U.S. And also in the, on the management level, there's very few changes globally. So that means something we do right. Mm-hmm. Um, here, here what I would say, and I take my example, um, what we offer is the possibility of international careers um, to anyone, in fact. Um, you know, who is who shows talent, who shows interest, who wants to grow and uh, wants to go internationally, which I believe a lot of younger talent, um, at least that's my experience so well, far. And worldly knowledge has its own wins. I mean, the reality of it is you learn more when you're traveling. When you you're traveling, more. different cultures, uh, different people. It makes you it, a better person. It it, it does. Just it make, makes, I, I don't want to say better but well, well um, yeah yeah that's uh, that's a good way to put it uh so that's something unique that we can unique <laughs> it's there's unique. a lot of you know, a lot it of international unique. companies but this is something that we are offering and we can offer always to our uh to our younger talents so there's always international programs going on we also offer the, the possibility if someone doesn't want to relocate there is still a lot of uh, traveling involved um, and w- which still might not be the most attractive for the more seasoned professionals that join our team because they don't want this um, yeah. exci- or- excitement. Excitement. <laughs> seasoned These people really are boring. Not- <laughs> oh, <laughs> probably this is what we will have to cut. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, that's that's not what I wanted to say. But um, so so for. So that's just strategy-wise. So we we offer for for younger talent and up up and coming talent, if you will, um, uh, new professionals, these opportunities, and and for for more season. What I think we offer is stability. Yeah, it's that's a very, important. Very, very stable, important. very stable business we are in, um, which is which is just by luck. Um, so the hitch industry, since it was first created and founded in the 50s has been just stable um in a ma- major crisis has hit yeah. but but it never to a point where it shuts down no one ever will um doesn't matter what the fuel of a of a vehicle's engine is that. you will want to tow you will need your hitch so our business is very stable and that's i think uh, something that people appreciate about working for acps so we're very flexible here with hybrid working, with good locations, we offered international opportunities. Plus, we offer a long-term, steady, and stable uh, business. I think you you kind of you pinpointed it exactly. You're offering a variety of opportunities within the company, and the security to know you're in a safe place. Like you're going to be a part of something. And probably security is one of the most important. Yeah, that's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, um, as we're all finding it more difficult to focus on big picture. Can you tell us a bit more about the importance of strategizing at a high level? That's my ultimate message. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And I thought innovation was, but all right, all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but that, that's part of it. That's, <laughs> that's part of it. It's, it's part of it. <laughs> strategizing is, is huge because 
we talked about how to handle crises, how to live through crisis, um, how to how to uh, develop your business internationally. And now currently, as we speak, we are expanding into China as well. Um, is strategize. So we do have mid and long term strategy plans um, for a few years outlook and then five years outlook. Always updating every year. It's a closely monitored plan, not only for uh, new business to go after or new contracts to win, but also where to put resources and focus where do we see the industry grow where do we see acps um grows in in that five-year um time frame and that five-year plan is not some it's it's a living yeah. document so it's not something that you create now and then the next time you to take another look it's in five years and and see if it happened or didn't it's every every year there is always a five-year update and strategize and replan Changes happen. That's normal. Well, but and it's, it's nice. important to understand where you're going. You're looking at it, though. A lot of people create a plan, and I think you, you mentioned this piece. You create a plan, and then you live by that plan. Well, things need to change. Need Everything to change. is adapting at all times. So, right. like you said, if it's a living plan that you're working with as it's growing, as it's changing, you're able to look at the big picture. You are able to look at the big picture, and that's how you can look at the big picture mm -hmm. as well. As if you, one one extreme is when you create your plan and you just don't want to deviate because I set my plan. That likely will not really succeed because yeah. you cannot <laughs> adopt uh, to changes. The other end of things is I will just go with the flow because everything changes anyways. But then you lose focus on yeah. uh, where you really want to be, where you where you want to get to. So the in bit, combining the best of both worlds is, I believe, is a good way to have uh, a good midterm, five-year good midterm outlook and always just, you know, revisit and, and, and see if you need to adopt anything. Yeah. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for joining us today. Obviously, we learned a lot, a lot of good nuggets. So yeah. thank you so much for sharing that. Um, but that's all we have here today on Members on the Mic with the Tri-Chamber of Commerce. Special thanks to you, Daniel, um, for you. joining us. And obviously, ACPS Automotive. Um, also, I'd like to thank our presenting sponsor, Tryon Solutions. Well, that's all we have today for you guys. If you're interested in joining the Chamber or looking forward to any of our upcoming events, go to trichamber.com. Thanks and have a great day. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.